how to climb a fence on your BMX. The only bummer is I got a little bit of a dent on the top tube from letting it drop, but also be careful if you ever try this at home because it's a... So there's where I climbed from, as you can see. It's definitely a long way down, but... Check it out, broskies. Check it out. Got a 2020 Toyota RAV4. That's the new whip. Okay, no, I'm just kidding. Uh, I had to get a rental because the Tesla's getting some repairs and it's gonna take a lot longer than anticipated. So I got that for the week. Since everything seems to be getting closed again here in LA, even though they said they're gonna open back up, I'm in the city of Southgate at my original stomping grounds. I uh, grew up in Watts, California, which is not too far from here. And my brother and I, Man Cobra, used to pedal to this park all the time. And they have a pretty cool skate park over here that I'm probably gonna have to hop this big old fence. But I promised you guys I was gonna start working on getting more vlogs dropped, even though sometimes it's difficult because I'm in my 30s now, so I'm no longer a spring chicken. So that means that my bones hurt, my ligaments are tight, and little nagging injuries like a rolled ankle or something like that will definitely make it hard for you to be motivated to ride. But the important part is trying to take it a day at a time. The more you ride, the better you feel and the less likely you will be to get hurt. So uh, I'm on day three of riding in a row and I'm gonna try and get as many in a row as possible. So let's go check out this park. Man, the whole thing is shut down. And this fence is not the easiest to climb. If I recall, I don't remember how I used to get in here. All right, so I'm thinking I'm gonna put my foot right on that thing, throw the bike over. The way out should be a lot easier than the way in because the spikes are obviously facing this way. So some real breaking and entering here. Let me take a glance, see if there's any other easier way. But the park is cool. It's got this weird white paint that makes it a little slippery, but we'll make do. My favorite part is that spine right there. Super fun. All right, so here we go. Essentially, I mounted the bike down there. I use it kind of like a step stool. The spiky things weren't that hard because right here, as you can see, they've lowered them. So I just climbed through the side. And yeah, we're up here. Try to climb a fence on your BMX. Try to find a good angle for this thing. The only bummer is I got a little bit of a dent on the top tube from letting it drop, but we'll fix that right now. Also, be careful if you ever try this at home because it's a long way down. So there's where I climbed from, as you can see. Definitely a long way down, but we got in here. Now we got the whole place to ourselves. So I'm gonna set the camera over here and just go cruise around, warm up. So a lot of people ask me how I set up a lot of the shots that I do when I'm riding by myself. So as you can see behind me, I have the, it's a little Joby tripod and that holds my spare iPhone. And I just set it up in a strategic place that lets me film from pretty far. That way I can fit a lot of different clips into it. But if there's a will, there's a way. So for you guys that say that you have no one to ride with, as you can see, I'm by myself quite often. And the only thing I really bring with me, besides obviously the spare phone and the little tripod are my headphones. With that, it feels like I'm connected and I could just rip around and not worry about anything. take one or two laps, I am sweating. I also forgot to show you guys something. So I got this new hand tattoo and it hurts. My hand got really swollen. And as you can see, there's a film over it. It's called Saniderm, which it's meant for people that are burn victims. It helps things heal a lot faster because your plasma, AKA your blood is healing it. So I gotta be careful not to fall on this, all right? So remind me, don't fall on your hand, Alf. So on the street side of the park, as you can see, that's the bowl side of the park. This is more of the street side. And there's a little box jump right here. I want to overgrind this rail and then jump this box jump. So I'm gonna set up the camera somewhere over there. So the runway is kind of trash. So I'm just gonna grind the rail and I'm gonna tell up the box jump. Probably won't look the best, but you'll know what happened.
All right, guys, I really jinxed myself that time because it took me 20 tries just to get to this point, and now my phone is over here. All right, this isn't working, so I'm gonna try and get some faster clips. It happened again, so I have to do it first try or nothing. Dude. I count how many times my phone overheated. It's 100 degrees, I think. Phone overheated like 10 times, and I still have to hop that big old fence, so wish me luck. Step one, hook your bike on the fence, and then find the lowest point to hop it. To hop in, I went in right there. Take it out right here. Wow. We did it, Maine. Halfway out. What was hot? I don't even know what this says. No skating or biking? Right. We're out. Out was harder than in because a spiky thing hit me in the stomach. So I had to hold my whole body weight up with my hands. Oh, not recommended. So prior to the pandemic, it was already hard for BMXers and skaters to get around. If you're riding the street, you get kicked out by the police or security. If you're riding in the skate parks, usually bikes aren't allowed. So we're already pretty trained at having a break and entering. So this is just an example of how you have to sneak in to like ride a skate park in California in the middle of summer, obviously during a pandemic but that doesn't allow bikes and that has a 16 foot tall fence. So that's gonna be it guys. Uh, thanks again for reminding me not to mess up my hand cause it's still bandaged as you can see. Also that was no handed so I almost crashed, which would have been counterproductive to what I asked earlier. Uh, thanks again for everyone that watches and uh, leaves a nice comment. This video is just to get in the groove of things. It's been a minute since I've ridden back to back to back to back and I had that 30 mile bike ride last week. so. It takes that out of you, but this again, is just a little motivation for you guys and for myself. We are all in this together. There's a pandemic, but you shouldn't just stay home and do nothing. Go ride a skate park, go ride a curb, handrail, conquer your fears. You know, they say you only live once, but I disagree. I think it's Yodo. You only die once. You live every day. And if you don't go out and live, then you're busy dying. So don't do that. Go out and exercise, ride bike, skateboard, scooter, moped, whatever you got, do it. Go have fun. That's it from this old geezer. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. I will see you guys tomorrow, maybe. If not, definitely Saturday. Wait, no, Sunday. Labor Day weekend. All right, boys. Much love.